Hi, it's Kevin Markman. <laughs> Welcome back to Relationship Ready Talks. Thank you very much for joining us, and I appreciate any support that you give. If you can subscribe, like, and uh, today we have a guest today, Jason Palmi Atlas. Welcome. Yes. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm trying to engage the audience as well right. as have an intimate Plus, conversation I mean, yes, that's we're, real we're at so the same close. time. So yes, <laughs> we, we are, are this close. close. It's yes. not CGI. <laughs> no, no special effects yet. Okay. Or anything, so. So, All right, yes, no, so I can deal with it. So tell us a little bit about you and what might be helpful to know about you. Well, relationship-wise, I um, well, I well, just in general, who you are and what would be important. Well, to I know. like to uh, identify as an artist. Obviously, I uh, I try to dabble. I podcast for myself. I do podcasting. I mean, I basically I just want to be able to talk for a living, <laughs> and most of it's probably humorous because I feel like people don't take me seriously. Good. So even when I say something serious, it's. Um, maybe up for grabs but yeah i mean uh, i'm an artist a, a podcaster um i do uh, i make a living or have made a living made money um writing using words so that's uh <clears throat> i guess that follows into the uh, artist category so the creativity of yeah that. i mean that's that's mm -hmm. how i've been my whole life and i am fr and i never uh thought i would be married to be honest <laughs> I've said this to my wife so she's not gonna get mad but no I've been I, I just got uh, we got married five months ago congratulations uh, February 2nd so like a little after five months so but no I've seen your uh, I, I caught your show and uh, I know your thing was past relationships right or it's like Relation, like how you evolve yeah, but yeah most of most of it has been past relationships I've got a couple now that are with current relationships also but it's really the development and the intimate nature that people live but sharing that so that we all can kind of relate and learn how we evolve in well, right well that is like uh, I, when i was young i did uh, i don't know i don't i do like to say that I'm, I'm late on the spectrum but i guess that might be offensive to some people <laughs> not the um not the autistic spectrum. I feel like a lot of people, uh, everyone's a little socially awkward, right? So that's mm -hmm. an excuse, like, well, I'm on the spectrum. Yep. I if you're not. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah. well, well, uh, well, and I believe we are all on the spectrum in some way, it just depends on how wide the spectrum well, is. Well, right. So. And it is, it's very wide. Yeah. So yes. it, it is on your level. But when I was younger, and see, now I have nieces. I don't have any children because I don't want any children. <laughs> but like my nieces, I'm like, I'm excited for them because it's like they're on the precipice of dating. Mm -hmm. And that is really. Uh, a good way to learn things about yourself is to date others because they'll be like you know like when they break up with you which is inevitable you know when you're first dating they're like yeah. this is what I don't like about you yeah. and then you're like oh I do that like yeah. oh I that's pronounce that's a thing about me yeah I pronounce Rochester Rochester like oh you didn't find that you know like little are just little things like that yeah. but yeah. like when I was young I did not um, only because I was painfully like crippling shy you know what I mean like so yeah. I was like even when it was time, and I, I went through, I was a bit of a late bloomer, so um, I didn't even turn into a man or, you know, develop a deeper voice until I was, like, 17, so it was already, like, that kind of ruins you for, I, yeah. ruined it sets me. You up. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, so in high school, like, even when I was a, like, I, well, I was a junior when I was 17, so it's like, you know, all my friends were going on dates, but I was still like, oh, I can't, like, I like that girl, but it's like, I can't talk to her because in my mind... I still have the avatar of that little boy whose voice hadn't even changed yet. Uh -huh. So I was like painfully shy. So I like I didn't uh, have my first girlfriend until I was a senior, and um, you know she was. I always shot high, so she was the valedictorian. She turned out to be the valedictorian. Okay. And she's a successful dentist. She won't be. I'm not going to use her name, but she, I'm sure she won't be mad. But no, I mean that like that was mostly um, my main uh, my first relationship. Who I, uh, you know, became a man with, so to say. And you were less shy. <clears throat> well, after, I mean, it, it did. It did help me out. I mean, there was. Um, it was. It was kind of like tough. You know what I mean? Like almost going from like when you have this girl who's trying to. Uh, uh, or you know, just learning to share your your life because then or your time. I should mm -hmm. say not your life in high school, but you know, she's like, oh, we should do this, and I'm used to like, oh, I just want to do this, and then, but it like it did help me. So then I had a girlfriend, and then after that, you know, then I went through, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very slow process for some people, I should say, to, to open up. Mm -hmm. You know, like some people are just born, it is, I, I feel like, well, it's partly environmental, but I don't know, like, are you, like, super, like, I don't know, easy to open up with? Uh... I have learned to be more easy to open up with. I was not initially as my, when you talk about nature versus nurture, my right. nature was 
Uh, no, I'm cute myself. I'm not. I'm not uh, very open. You got to pull things out of me. I've learned to become more open and kind of become more uh, share and and more extroverted and less introverted. Right. Uh, well, I, I, obviously, you're in the comic arts. So you're trying to be a comic, and I feel like most comics. First of all, I have this theory that most comics are undateable, <laughs> and I'm very lucky to be married. Before even, get, but I mean, no, it's true because it's like it's a very selfish. Like, if you're really trying to do it, though, you know what I mean? Like, it is kind of a selfish... If you're really trying to do comics or really trying to date? Trying to do comedy, comedy though. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're so... You know, it's like yeah. kind of like a selfish endeavor because mm-hmm. it's like you have to do it all the time. So you're like... Your nights are kind of spoken for. And it's, it's almost like bodybuilding, you know, where you spend 24 hours in the gym. You're spending 24 hours in your head, mm-hmm. almost. And then, like, they're getting up at 3 o'clock to have a protein shake. You might get up at 3 o'clock to write, like, oh, that's a funny premise. Yeah. Let me write this that down. To me, yes. Yeah, and, like, your, you know, your significant others, they're trying to sleep. <laughs> yep. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta, but I really got to write this down because I think it's hilarious, even though the next day it might not be. But, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of like a, a, a selfish pursuit. But, I mean, that's what... Yeah, and that's, but, that's involving that in your <laughs> Relationship, but, but I, I mean, if you're only t- like comics are very, we're in our head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're we're very like by nature. I mean, obviously, there's some outspoken one or you know more uh, let's be out there kind of stuff. But I, I feel like the majority of us are like, oh, we're deep, deep into our head, and so it, it is really it's a big exercise for us to uh, you know open up because mm-hmm. deep down we are whatever age for like whatever compels us to do this you know we're like frozen we're like ah, i'm really a horrible person or you won't like me you will leave when i reveal who i am and these are the things we might share we might share on stage but well right yeah like me yeah I, a, it's okay like to, a dark room full of strangers i'll share it with but nobody that i'm interested in because mm-hmm. that one-on-one it just makes it way more frightening than mm-hmm. than sharing it with the audience of whoever's out there yeah yeah, so that's what makes it undateable. Right. It's and I and I did spend most, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, I've had, at, at that point of 18, you know, just being a smart person, I realized you can't, um, it, it's not a good way to live your life, to be, you know, I, I mean, as a guy, I feel like guys, I don't know if you agree, we do feel, I don't, maybe it's just the way society set up, but I, I never felt like, we feel less lonely, though, Right. Do you think? Uh, I think, or we don't acknowledge it. Maybe. I, yeah, yes, I think we're trained to not acknowledge oh, yeah, the emotions, right. so we don't. Like, go, we're lonely because we're like, hey, bro, we're good, <laughs> and and that's the that's the stereotype kind of stuff that we're right. Trained yeah, to I'm do. A, I'm a lone wolf, and like Han Solo, like all these characters that are in the movies to design yeah. like, oh, you know, like oh, there's a sexual chemistry, but it's like I gotta move on, princess. Like, like you're a princess and you're super hot, but I gotta move on. There might be something better in the, in the next quadrant for yeah. me. Or the next planet but I, yeah yes. in real life no that's mm, that's not good and i mean and if you do have a condition or if you're on the spectrum then totally different but yeah i mean that's why i think we're attracted to stand up because we have definite rules so like you guys sit down shut up we talk mm-hmm. either you laugh or you don't but i mean you know like there's no it takes the anxiety out of the interaction mm-hmm. whereas in like i'm still filled with Sometimes when I come home to talk to my my wife, I just like I think I might still have a little anxiety, or you know, well, there's like not a script, or you don't know right, where it's going to go. Just, it could go anywhere. Even talking about my feelings is a little, you know, it's just like, and I think it is partly being the way society structured as a man. It's just like. Uh, I like you know sometimes when I feel a little vulnerable I'm like yeah I don't yeah. you know yeah like, men are usually trained to go <clears throat> anger or lust and those are pretty much the feelings that we're yeah, accepted and, uh, and the rest of them are like no 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 I don't do those things we're, uh, we're less so now but that's the tradition yeah, yeah. toxic um, I, I mean I did grow up in a household where um, let's just say our bathroom door had fist holes in it so I mean uh-huh. you know and I, Whatever, you know, my dad was born in the 50s. This is how it was. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you go to war and you see some f- horrible things and then you don't talk about it and mm-hmm. then you keep it buried in and then you just take it out on your family who loves you mm-hmm. and then you're nice to everyone else. But that's mm-hmm. that's okay. I'm alive and uh, as a lot of other people, are much, much worse. But um, I did, uh, uh, to get back to the relationship thing, so uh, my current wife, like we did, and this is... As I say, it's a day-to-day struggle to be open and, uh, um, you know, especially for a man, you know, to, to share your feelings with someone because that does, that is really what we all want. 
mm-hmm. as much as you might deny it. It's like, of the I connection. Don't, yeah, yeah. Yes. as a man, or, you know, who you, you know, your partner, like, you know, you're like, I don't need to express your feelings, but yes, yes, you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It's healthy. Yeah, it's, it's good for you. It's some way, yeah. Yes, and you can't just constantly punch drywall, guys. So, mm-hmm. um, new society. So, um, uh, I mean, I was spending a lot of time doing comedy, so I was kind of skewing the really like I can't do both because mm-hmm. you can't have two masters, right? So that was the priority, right? The priority was doing comedy, but I mean, I met my wife, uh, my wife to be like six. All right, see, the times are a little off, so if she watches this, she might be angry. But <laughs> what? Well, I met my wife. We dated at that time for like. Uh, I want to say like a year and a half. I mean, and it was good, but then also I still wasn't completely open though. Okay. You know what I mean? So I was like, I wasn't there yet and I was still trying to do the, you know, like do a lot of comedy. So I was like, and you know, I, I probably didn't express these feelings to her, but I'm like, this is unfair. Like deep, like in my head, I would be like, this is unfair to you. You know, like again, because mm-hmm. I, I just can't do both. And then a coward part of it being like a, a little cowardly to say like well i, I didn't want to con- completely lose her either but it's just like i i just got it you know i like I, I wasn't ready so it's just like one of those things where the universe makes a choice for you you know what i mean like if you never go to school you just end up working in, like where the universe makes one of those choices yeah. and you just end up working at the factory in your hometown and that bruce springsteen sings about. <laughs> so like that's what it, but I, I mean i just didn't want to tell her that so, I mean, we did break it because obviously she's like, you're, this is going, you know, nowhere. <laughs> like, you're just, so we broke up. Well, well, take me back initially to tell, tell us about when you first met. When oh, well, we first, there, at, so. ironically, we met because of podcasting. See? Oh, yeah. My, I was doing my other friends, uh, I was doing a friend's podcast and uh, he did it off where he worked, uh, you know, a place in Buffalo. And uh, she was there, like, she did it for a little room and I met her. At her and her friend and um or actually i think i'm sorry she was on the podcast as well and um you know it was one of the, i don't want to say it was like a sam and Diane thing but i i was being a little um you know the thing that comics do where like um not necessarily believing what you're saying but just being a little contrary to be okay. humorous on the podcast and i think she you know she was kind of like you're being a jackass but you know she was calling me on it okay. so we always when like, you first met yeah okay. so but you know it's like oh i like this girl and yeah like yeah i'm being a jackass but you know it's nice to it is like someone's paying attention to you i don't know it was nice for someone like she was being honest i feel like because mm-hmm. i was being a jackass for whatever reason mm-hmm. so i was like you know then we started uh we became friends and then she was like oh i should check out one of your shows because obviously that was funny. Okay. So then so, she came. So initially, that's what she noticed about you, and gave you some attention. What did you first notice about her? Um, <laughs> that well, besides uh, her honesty, which I appreciate, and you know, and a partner, um, uh, she did like scarves. It was winter. She really she's in the scarves. Okay. okay. Uh, but that might be a woman thing. Uh, but yeah, and I noticed she had you know strong opinions, and she didn't like. Um, Sometimes, I don't know if you know, like, even jokingly on a podcast, like, when you can have someone break their opinion quickly uh-huh. just to agree with you, know, like, it, you can tell when someone just wants to agree with you because it's like they're they're used to that group mentality. She she, she stuck with her opinion, though. so uh-huh. I could see that okay. she was a, I could just tell that she was an independent thinker, smart, and she was funny, and she was calling me on my bullshit. Okay. So and I was like, initially, yeah, and I was and like, yeah, to. well, okay. yeah, you you know, I, I think um, as a contrary, and you do want someone that kind of rails against you. Don't want someone that just agrees with you, mm-hmm. even if even if that is true, deep down. But I mean, you know, you want someone that's going to challenge you a little mm-hmm. bit and uh, hold you it know. to who you are a little right. bit. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you noticed that initially in yeah. your first meetings. So, okay. Yeah. And then and, where did it go from there? And of course, she's pretty. <laughs> well, I, um, yeah, she came to one of my shows. Well, she came with a friend, though, so I, you know, it wasn't in, just imperative on her having a good time with me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we hit it off, we went to the movies, and she has a, uh, you know, what's that old expression, like, uh, opposites attract? And mm. I, I think that that saying's very misunderstood to a lot of people, because yeah. that means, like, you in a partner, it should be something that you're missing a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, if you're more quiet, it's good to have a partner that's maybe more outgoing, then it kind of takes the pressure off you if you're at a party together. But you can't have totally, like... Um, different tastes because you'll never come together and it, you'll only be coming together because just, I mean granted because so you, you want to spend time balance with out strengths and yeah but it don't like, have, but not be extremely different in 
well, completely different well, values right. or different. Well, because you'll never enjoy the same art. Like I'm just like for music, you'll never go to the same music. Only you'll be only going to uh, because you love her. But after a while, that does fit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it so gets you still believe, but opposites to attract, but not completely opposite. Yeah, not co- like opposite in the sense of like. Oh, you're high energy, low energy. Yes, I can see because you can make that work. But I'm just like, as far as like, or this, like, oh, I believe in, uh, I'm a Republican, Democrat. Like that gets iffy to me because it's just like, where are you gonna come together in the middle? Like, I don't know. But I, I mean, we're both. We have a. Um, well, I think comedians are like I said. She's very funny. She could probably be a comedian herself if she had. I mean, she's funny enough, but I mean, you need other characteristics and why. Like, uh-huh. she doesn't, like, but she is funny enough to be a, a comic. She has a dark view of the world. She enjoys, um, you know, what I don't know what you call your things that you could never say on stage. I call it car talk because <laughs> it stays in the car. But you know, things that you could just never say on because it would be misinterpreted, uh-huh. not anything. But racist. she gets those things. Yeah, she like we can come together, and when I say it, it's funny, and she says things of that misanthropic let's say misanthropic um stuff okay then you know like we have that same view of like yeah this is uh we're all doomed <laughs> type of stuff but you know with a, a sliver of optimism you okay. know optimism but you know we we came together on that and um how did you discover that through your well i, I just um enjoy like walking through the mall and, and making dark 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 jokes okay. Okay. <laughs> so um yeah, and you know we just is like I said. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't lose my point. Where we're backing up though, we're the like, the opposite track you met. Oh yes. You where did how did it develop from there? You had yeah, I mean I, we, your track we did have a good. Um, I mean I think we had a good base because well I mean and plus I do want to get this out. I think we um, kind of pioneered the breaking up with someone, getting back together. You know because we did break up before we got married and then J okay. Lo started all that and. Then, <laughs> Like but you were the first. Became a trend, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, when you have a good base, like sometimes people are like, I, "Are you back together with your ex? Are you bored?" And it's like, it's not always that. Obviously, uh-huh. it's like sometimes you do have a good base, and there are obviously there's always reasons why you break up, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, no good relationship ends. I think when we see Casey, you know, like when he was like, "Oh, you got divorced. That's too bad." He's like, "Well, no good marriage ends in a divorce." <laughs> <There's> <laughs> no, I mean, there's a reason we got divorced. Obviously, with Louis right. C.K., there was a reason, yeah. Yeah, and that's why people. But I mean, celebrated that yeah. <laughs> but you do have a good bait. I mean, have you ever gone back to an ex? I um, guess? Or I mean, are you still thinking about an ex? I mean, there's. I think I. I never really had any volatile breakups, so it was more like we weren't doing stuff for a while, and then we saw each other again, and then oh, got and then back like the, the bump like, oh yeah, there yeah. is that thing. We yeah, have. because I mean, especially I mean, there is. I, I feel like there's there's not a lot of people that we super like that sometimes you connect with, but I mean, she's definitely a person that I, I connected with. Mm. So it doesn't like we we're broken, and you know, it, it's just like again, you know. the it was my fault, and only because I was closed off. Like, and you know, I wasn't ready to say yes. Let's, you're in my future because I was like, oh, I really need to go do this stupid open. You know what I mean? I was just yeah. thinking like, I need more stage time. Sorry, and it, you know, it kind of loots your mind. Okay, so where? How did you go from connecting on dark jokes in the mall and being there to getting through to going? Uh, are we? breaking up how long was that and what was the progression of oh well the breakup was weird i I would say that's just it was um you know we stopped communicating so i just it was basically one of those things like where you um you just don't say to each other i mean we we continue to go out but i mean the relationship was just it was not did you know there was something there it was very communicated well yeah i was like this isn't you know i i think we both knew but we just didn't because we did you know we really loved each other so you know it's just like oh it's a shame this isn't going anywhere so if it doesn't work you know we do have to separate okay. but it, it is one of those things where it's like the separation did help you know what i mean because it's okay. like oh i really miss you i really like oh my like there's no one like i've dated you know when we broke up and then i met other people it's just like this there's no this is you know and you're always there's comparing no like, it i don't know if like you ever did yeah well I think it's kind of like if you break up or even if you get dumped, it's kind of neutral. Like you kind of compare that last person only because that's the last person you're with. Right. But it was like, oh, you're like, this is trash. Like, right. I, why am I talking right. to you? Well, and, <laughs> and I believe there's no shame in that because I think part of the purpose of dating is figure out what you like and don't like. And right. if you find people that you like, you're like, oh, yeah, I do like that. I wasn't sure I liked that, but then I 
saw something else, and I'm like, no, I thought I liked that, but I didn't really like that quality or that or that uh, that type of person or that energy from that person. I like this one, and that's the right. kind of energy that you that you find. Right. Well, like. that's well, right. I mean, I mean, that is why you do have to date other people, and it's okay to sometimes. I think it's okay to have a, a you know, a break because, like I said, that does give you uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, so we broke up. Oh, um, because I just wasn't very open, you know, I wasn't emotionally available. So, but then, you know, as I was trying to date other people, and it's just like, oh yeah, this is not, it's just not the same. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, and, but, uh, you know, and I realized being a smart person, you know, I was like, I do have to bring my feel, like I just can't make a joke about everything as, as hilarious as it is on stage. <laughs> you know, sometimes there is real emotion that and you the have to, that you're yeah, and real intimate, like that other person, like, Sure, sometimes it can be annoying as hell when that other person knows you really well, but it's also very good. But it is annoying as hell sometimes, right? You know, because yep. it's like that other person knows what you're going to do almost sometimes before you do it. Yep. Like, oh, by the way, oh, you opening that ketchup bottle? Please put it back. You know what I mean? Like, put it back in the ketchup. And wipe, you know. wipe off that stain off the... Because the, yeah, you know the it's going to happen. Because yeah. you know it's going to happen. They're, yeah. like, pre-cocking you. But it's right. still... It's it's nice. But, yeah, that, but that is what we create. It's in our DNA. Yes. So did you... Were you not as emotionally available as a person until you went through that? Or did you were you able to be emotionally available and you were just like, nah, I'm not ready to be that emotionally available with her? Well, I, I think it's just... Well, you say, well, I think I'm capable of it. It's just a, it's, it's a lot of work. Did you become more emotional well, yeah, but, uh, because of the relationship? Yes. 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 Okay. But, I mean, through, you know, being very conscious of it. Like, okay. you know, it is... It, I'm just... I don't want to, you know, say... It's, it's a lot of work for me. I mean, people like me. I guess I, I'm just very in my head. <laughs> I, I, don't, I know I've said that already, but I, I mean, still, I mean, granted, I, I and I'm obviously middle-aged. Well, I look good, but, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like you think someone's... I, I tell my nieces this all the time because I don't know if my sister... I was like, you know, you look at adults and you think we have a life, but we don't. We don't. We're just old. We're just older. Yeah. We're maybe better. Right. We've had but more, like, more age, yeah, more years. I, I mean, it's still work for me every day mm -hmm. to like not to you know realize that the person that cut me off on traffic wasn't trying to cut me specifically off they're in a rush but i'm still going to get angry about it mm -hmm. but it, it it takes mature it's the maturity yep. that does come with time yeah. and reminding us that we're adults and we're like we've been through this before this is a thing we well can yeah handle. and they're not doing it to me specific like don't take mm -hmm. it personally they're just either they're just a jerk or they are in a like they're late for work either mm -hmm. way you're okay move on with you don't vex on it but uh, yeah. but also like the the lessons every day like oh man just it my default mode is like yes especially in this modern day with like doordash like i could not deal with anybody and that mm -hmm. would kind of be okay with me because again i just i guess i don't feel lonely because of whatever is you know my background mm -hmm. so i or i deflect it because i'm a man and i'll just go get angry <laughs> and I'll just rant. So you compartmentalize it. Yeah, it and it'll come out at the wrong time. Like, yeah, when my order is wrong at the Tim Hortons, and then that's when you see people flipping out. That's what happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Well, that's yeah. It goes viral. But yes. yeah, don't do that yes. because, especially as a man, like, d get it out. But yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know, and she she knows my moods. You know, like when I when I do get upset, like uh, you know, if someone cuts me off of traffic, she just gently puts her hand on my elbow, and and then, of course I'm mature, and like yeah, it reminds me. Oh yeah, it's it's fine. Oh yeah, this isn't necessary. And we have so much more of life to go. Like I'm yeah. not going to focus in on on this moment as stupid as society has become. Yes, yes. Um, I want to go back to something you mentioned. Say a little bit more about is um, you had said. Of course, we were in love, but things weren't working out. So when did you know you were in love? What was that time like? Um, well, that's interesting because um, we did play. Uh, 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 we were still doing my friends uh, initially when we were dating you know my friend had this podcast that he was doing and I, I think we had this quiz and one of the questions were and my my wife Lindsay uh, is very competitive like me which is funny I mean it was one of the things we have in trade so she was trying to pr uh, again cheat at this game but I have a strict code of like I, I can't cheat I'm sorry <laughs> I can't do that but she was like one of the questions is like when did you realize that you were in love with your um, your partner and she was like, it was early on, we had gone to this movie, and uh, we both love animals, because we have four dogs now. But, um, I, I forgot what piece of trash movie. Um, 
It was some movie about a robot that came alive. I don't know. If it was long. It was about six years ago. Mm-hmm. Either way, there was like a dog fight, or, or and then, um, you know, a dog fight. It was you know it was CGI, but like we don't want to see that. Like it was two dogs hurting each other. So like she looked away, and I gently you know like I just started kissing her, and she's like, oh, oh, you know like that was like the moment of you realize that like we're on the you know like she's like that was her moment. We both for her. had that. Yeah. Well, it wasn't mine. She had that was. But her. she was telling me. But I'm just in the course of her cheating at this game. That's what she wanted. That was her answer for me. Like when you think your partner fell in love, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. And then for me. Uh, be, just not being super in touch with my uh, emotions. I don't know. I, I guess it's just a gradual thing. I, I, I don't think it's one moment. Like, I'm sorry, I can't pinpoint it. Okay. I just but know. But there was a point where you knew. Yeah, I just knew. And you started to yeah. say it to each other yeah. as well, too. Yeah. Was that was that one of the monumental kind of things, or was that no, a gradual well, kind of thing? Well, um, I think it was... I, I think she probably was more afraid that I wasn't going to say it back. So, I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to... I don't know when... The moments that she fell in love, I fell in love. I mean, it, it's but not you both good. had the feeling, yeah. Of, like hesitant. It probably wasn't say, quite. Like, co- I don't know if I'm saying it yet. But. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I, it probably wasn't a hundred percent coordinated, like as in most man woman things. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> but and and she probably was hesitant to say it, just in case she knows that. Um, just having this weird code that I have that I can't lie. Because, you know, even if it's not, you know, when someone says I love you, like that's super awkward, right? <laughs> and most people right. would just be like. I love you too, or either like leave the room. But, but she it's was hard afraid. To say it genuinely, unless well, yeah, genuinely. Um, yeah. yeah. So like, and even just not being in touch with my, you know, or or like as a man, not wanting to admit it because it's like, oh, I love you now, what? Uh-huh. You know, because then you don't know what to do, right? Because uh-huh. you're like, you haven't been down that path before. Well, yeah, because you get all this flood of of like real emotion, like, oh my god, what what if something? And then you start like, if something happened to you, I would die. You know, and it just a bit like I can't handle it. It's too much. Yep, yep. So like it's all that intensity. Yeah, it's it's intense. It's intense to be right, and all the other intense things come with. It. Yeah, yes. yeah. So you're just like, yeah, man. It's like you know, like let's just keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I am like I learned this. You know, my father stuff a lot, but you know, it does lose meaning. Like you know, I, I mean, we definitely say it after phone calls because that could be the last phone call. You never know. Like, I love you. But, like, you know, sometimes she'll say, like, we're sitting on the couch, you know, like, I know, you know, like, I love you. And then it's like, yeah, I love you too, baby. But it's like, it's one of those words that, like, me, it does mean a lot to me. So I don't want to say it, like, like, three times a day tops. It's good. But, like, we don't have to say it all the time because it does start to, like, it's a powerful word. Like, you don't want to, like, throw that stuff around. Yeah. Like, oh, I love you, man. Yeah. For me, there's very few. I love my mom. I love my dogs. I love cops. After that, the list is like, I don't love a lot of stuff. I mean, I like pizza. I could live without it. Okay, so it's how you couldn't say, I love pizza genuinely. Oh, well, maybe like, you know. With the same intense emotion. Well. You don't have the intense emotion. Well, that kind of reminds me. Like, yeah, maybe if no one was in a room with me and I opened the box and, you know, you look at a fresh pizza, be like, I love you, pizza. I'm sorry I got to eat you. But yeah, but you know, it is for me, it's, it's because I only say things I mean. Like, I'm definitely not one of these guys that would try to get laid by saying, oh, I love you. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can't lie like that. That's against my DNA. So your, your genuine DNA and the, and the yeah. nature of it is... is yeah, like, I, t- and, you know, I take shit real, like, that kind of shit, seriously. Like, don't, uh-huh. mm, like, you know, you don't lie, and you don't play with someone's emotion. You know, and that's the one that, you know, you gotta be responsible, especially, you know, and, and I find in most relationships, well, from reading a couple well, like, usually one, like, and the, it's just nature, it's the, the equation, you know, you can't, it's not 50-50. Mm-hmm. Like, one partner loves you more than you love her. Yeah. Or, well, 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 I would say my wife loves me more than I love her, only because it's just, that's the way it's got to be, right? Well, yes, and, <laughs> over time, that can shift, well, right. too, and the healthiest relationships have times where one's more than the other, and it balances back and forth, and you can go back to and reflect on each other and be able to go, remember when you were being such a jerk and I didn't want to kiss much and didn't love you as much, but now I love you oh. so much more and going back and forth in that, in that well, seesaw right. of it. Well, yeah. Each... no one's ever exactly well, yeah, together. There, 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 there. But yeah, like, every day I feel like I do love him. Only because I feel like I'm, I'm becoming a better 
person every day because it's like and granted you know it's not even like I've, I've done anything horrible outside of my head but you know it's just like and I'm not a bad person in general but you know it's like I gotta work on myself and it's like yeah and I am very happy that I'm I'm married but you know part of it and the thing is I wanted the thing I'd improve upon now that we are married it's like five months it's like you know I read because we did these pre you know you do the we took that book you know, which is also good because you do learn things. You know, the marriage test or like yeah. write five things you like about your right. partner. Okay. Yep. And it is good exercise because at first I was like, oh, man, like after three, you know, after, you know, you want to say looks intelligence. It's like you really you got to dig deep yep. or you got to, you know, use your emotional right. and IQ, and then which is, like, yeah. Uh, and why it's like I? you do learn. And that's why I would recommend actually doing those exercises. Like, even if you have a healthy, or if you're just married, like, don't stop. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why they say marriage is, like, work. And it's, I don't know if that's 100% true. But, yeah, you should be appreciative. I'm very appreciative that, nice. you know, she is in my life. Mm -hmm. And that she's given me love. That, you know, even as a person with, like, kind of low self feels like I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then that's, like, then you go, like, well, that's my issue. I got to work on me. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I yeah, do and deserve that's the work. Emotional work. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, oh, but yeah, but still nice. But yeah, like, realize, yeah, I got to work on myself as well. And, but again, that's going back to, like, as adults, we still, you know, it's a daily, like, I don't care how old you are. I don't know, like, 80, 60, you know, you're still working. Like, you, because I, I thought that when I was a kid, like, oh, man. It would be adult. Everything's gonna be figured. No, yeah, like it's just stop. worse. Be done. Yes. Yeah, because then you you do like eight eight hours of your day is taken away with a job. So then it's like you have less time to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's but it's like you, you gotta wait. I wake up in the morning, and I try to like uh, another thing I did learn from my father, or that I I should say I didn't learn from, him, but just watching is like I never like I don't apologize a lot, <laughs> even when I shouldn't, because he was just like you know he was one of these like oh, oh, I'm right and uh, you know I get too bad. Let's move on. Yeah. But, like, just an example, the other day, uh, like I said, we have four dogs. Three of them are little, and she, Lindsay really, like, when we take a walk, she really wants me to, um, it's it's like a real little thing, you know? Like, she wants me to take the leash and put it on, my, like, the little loop, put it on my wrist. Okay. But I do not do that. Because the little dogs, for me, it's not even, it's not like I'm trying to say, oh, you want me to do it? I'm not going to do it, because I'm not a kid. It's okay. just they move from side to side. It's not practical for me, and I have grip strength, you know? So, like... You know, I told her that. I was like, "Baby, you know, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose these dogs. I love these dogs. Mm -hmm. What do you think is gonna happen?" So, like the rest of the walk, quiet. You know, like, oh, okay, we're gonna have one of these walks. You don't want to talk? I'm not gonna talk. Okay. So we're walking and not talking. And that's a comfortable silence, or oh no, uncomfortable like, silence. Tense, tense yeah, because you know, it's like oh, because I. But I feel like you know, because sometimes as you know, as a funny person, like if something bad, if I say some, or if I do something to upset her, I will make her. You know, you know, your so first thing. Yeah, let's oh, let's kid about it. Like you know, huh? Sorry, but I feel like I did nothing wrong because I'm just like, look at, I, I just I can't do it. I, I'm not gonna let these dogs go. So anyway, you know, it's like oh, you want to walk in uncomfortable silence? Game on. Okay. Competitiveness. Oh, you want to go? Let's see how long we can go. And then, you know, of course, we get home, and then she has to, you know, she's just like, Jason, she's like, um, I would really like you to, um, I, it hurts my feelings. That you're, and I was like, oh, God damn it. You're, 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 you're manipulating me because you're saying I hurt you, and I feel, and, uh, and uh, that may be true because that's her feelings. Uh -huh. I never negate someone's feelings. But I'm saying, you're saying, I'm just saying, you're mad because you're not getting your way. I can't, you don't do everything I ask you to do. Mm -hmm. And you do, and it's just like, all right, compromise. Pick your battles. I will use the rest. I am sorry. But you can talk about that. Yes. About yes. That. yes. But I, I mean, when but she, she knows where you stand also and feel yes. like you don't feel like Well, she negated. She was She's like, I understand you have grip strength. You're a big, strong man. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you Stroking you're, your ego. Yes. You're into my ego. But I was like, it's just they switch from, and she's like, you're in control of the dog when you're walking. Up. I was like, yes, you're right. And I'm like, but, and she's like, well, what if something happens? And I'm like, yeah, if I get shot and I like, oh, Alicia's, we got bigger problems. But I'm like, again, but this argument could go on for days, okay. you know, so that's when I catch, and I was just like, you know what? I and that's worth compromising. Yes. Well, it's a, it is a little thing. So it's very low. So I was like, yes, I will I will put these leashes on my wrist, okay. even though I don't like it. Okay. And I do feel like you manipulated me emotionally with the I'm hurt thing. And you had that conversation. Yes. I, well, I told her how I feel. I was like, I, I, I mean, you probably are hurt. Um, those are your feelings. And I, I mean, and I don't want to give an apology for that because that's like a fake apology. I'm like, you know, I'm sorry you're hurt. Even, but, I, you know, my intention is not to hurt you. Mm-hmm. 
so you can feel that way but i am and i mean i i still actually i don't i don't think i really apologize but i was right, like I you don't feel like you did something wrong well I, yeah she's just not getting job. her way like that's not a real indicate you know what i mean like i will like it's a daily struggle because sometimes i will say something maybe that's catless I mean, I don't know, as a guy, as a mm-hmm. comedian that I don't even mean that could possibly hurt her feelings. That's why you can't, ladies, don't go to that card too often. You know, like, oh, you hurt me. Or, or it hurts me that you don't listen to me. But it's like, okay, well, I can't, you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know if you've had those situations. Yeah, because so, yeah, there's the acknowledgement of the feelings, but there's also, uh, you're compromising because it's a little thing, but it's not, you're not changing because of it. You're still in your lane you just don't want to fight about it don't right well have it have it be an issue bigger it, issue. it doesn't need to be an issue yes right. but i i mean it is part of a, as, as as growth like you definitely i mean i know my father would have just been like shut up about it i'm never doing it uh-huh. <laughs> but i mean that's this already the 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 change right and that feels good to have that change yeah i mean yeah we should evolve just like uh, you know evolution is is going towards you know we don't do uh we don't do jokes that are hurtful anymore, right? Because that's not funny. So it's like you got to keep changing everything. Mm-hmm. More. Take me from the progression and the evolution from you were broken up to you got back together again. Yeah. And what happened from the breakup to getting back together to progress well, your relationship? Okay. And then eventually get to the marriage. Right. So how did you get back together again? Well, the break again, well, let's go to the breakup, obviously, like I said, never, you know, she was always on my mind. I don't know if you had those those kind of you know or you like I, I I didn't I won't say I thought about her daily but I mean but that was part of the positive yeah you know, like oh she isn't with me and yeah I still want to and I never you know it's not like I ever had um, like I said we didn't have a bad breakup it was just like this is going nowhere and, and it's true and again it was my because of Mace, basically because of me and I understood that so it's you know we didn't have a bad breakup we we stayed friends on we did the social media thing now which is a new thing you know we're friends on social media okay. so I see what she's doing on I can't help it but see what she's doing on Facebook unless I unfriended her or um why well, don't want to, or even unfollow her maintaining me yeah but stuff. you know and we're friends on but yeah I can see what she's doing and she's doing the usual woman's so it's like oh that's nice you know and I, you know I generally I wanted her to be happy because I was like I don't know if I can. You know, be the man, you know, it sounds like a corny movie, but it's like, ah, can I be the person that you need me to be? Mm. So it's like, you know, I was still just... Because you were still considering and wanting her to be genuinely yeah. happy, but weren't sure that was with you. Right. Whether it was worth you. But then also, like, keep an eye, like, ah, I, I do want to, you know, it's just, it, it's like, it's not a hundred percent, though, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. oh, like, when you, when you see, like, a, a good movie, you want it to be good, but it's just like... You know, I yeah, obviously I want her to exist. I don't want her to <laughs> disappear. But it, it's like, yeah, I want you to have a good life. And, yeah, I want to be part of it. But I, it's just I don't know if I can. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's 100%. Like, because a relationship is like comedy. Like, you have to be 100% in to make mm-hmm. it work. Like, you can't just have your foot out the door and, like, oh, I'm also... Or, you know, whatever... Uh, no offense to anybody's marriage that opens it up or, or, or swingers. But that's weird. <laughs> Well, it's not for me. Right, it's not. It's not for you. And, but and it, and it doesn't constitute to me. It's yeah. I mean, maybe after like twenty years of marriage, but I, yeah, I can't comprehend how that would like how you love somebody and then you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Like that's it's just them. It's just me and you, man. That's, right, because I mean, right, you have the priorities thing. Because throughout that and throughout the beginning, even the beginning of the relationship, you were like, I want her to be more. There's a point where you reach her. I want her to be more priority than my comedy. That was a priority before. Right. And so how do I balance those two things and not have my foot out the door? So right. with a different person in a relationship, you'd be like, how do I make them a priority? And that's the part where people are different in a way that sometimes there's a priority and the rest of them fill in gaps. And sometimes nobody's a priority because you're like, all right, who am I with? And right. those, those only work to certain points. So you were in that similar process right. during the breakup of like, uh, we're still friends. We're still in a relationship, but we're not dating Right. I mean, I would flip, like, if I saw a photo over with a dude, I know I would feel bad. Like, you know, that's, that, mm-hmm. ugh, like, ugh, that crap, that hurts. Like, but you had to explore that feeling emotional. and be like, does that hurt because I want to be with her? Or is that well, yeah, because, that's what I mean. But I, because, yeah, like, and it's like, I'm going to, I was continuing my thing, but it's like, yeah, she was always there. Like, you know, like, not a, just, yeah, on your mind, like, oh, this, I should, I, I should make this work. And then, you know, I, I think we we had uh, random texts and stuff like that, like nothing like that. And then one, and then she, 
she did uh she bought a home and then i i think um well actually she did uh she had two dogs and then her other two dogs were that we currently have were kind of uh, pushed upon us because she's taking care of them for a friend who who had a uh, medical situation mm. and he's never going to come back from that so i mean that's why we have four dogs right. but she had just got those two dogs to and which she thought would be temporary so um at the time of the break yeah at the t we're still broken up but then you know and and uh i had just lost my dog mm. and uh who i loved mm. that was love of my life i'm just kidding she was though no, um, that was an emotional yeah oh before. very emotional and we were kind of talking and then so like she had uh, these other two dogs and then she's like i really need help like oh you want to help me you know, like walk these dogs you know because it's just four dogs like three little chihuahua mixes and one um cane course it was like 100 pounds so i'm like oh let's meet at the outer harbor place in, in buffalo and um you know like walk these dogs and then it's just like oh and, and you know again we had that base of relationship like oh we we ah yeah, we kind of hate humanity uh, as a whole <laughs> and uh other stuff but it's like oh you've been doing it like in the year I, I think it was a little over a year that we we're broken up and it's like oh you did this and, you know like re getting to know each other and it's mm -hmm. like oh i do you know it's just like this is like i like everything about like and the still new like thing the things yeah that you like before. and the way you've grown i've loved the way you've grown like oh let's grow you know it's like ah, you know what the fuck is wrong with you know, like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> you know, it's like. Ugh. So you realize that yeah. in your conversations when you're yeah, I mean, over yeah. walking we, dogs. Yeah, sure. I've grown, but we've grown, but like we could like in the same direction. You know what I mean? So it's like okay. when you because obviously when you get married you do change every what seven years because your cells or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like yeah, but usually. But there was still a spark. Yeah, there's the spark. And some different. Ways. Like the attraction, the the chemistry, but also like oh, I just I, you're just a great you know I love where you're at as a person. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to be I want to be with you as a person and I probably won't I mean I guess you know deep down if I was you know could find it, but it's like why bother <laughs> why would I go try to find another person when you're right there mm -hmm. and it's like okay let's just get and you both realize that at that time yeah so mm -hmm. and it's like yeah and then but I mean it kind of happened it does I think in those situations it happens organic you know what I mean like it wasn't like oh why are we going it just so there wasn't an expectation that are yeah, we trying just, to make this work again. It was just we're friends. Right. We had a relationship. We have this shared thing of dogs and our mentalities that we're <laughs> like, let's get together and catch up. Right. But okay. I mean, and then more and more it's like, oh, we're just hanging out, but we're also calling, and then and then just like, oh yeah, like yeah, I love, I like, yeah, I'm still in love with you. I was always, you know, in love with you. I just, you know, I mean, because relationships do take more than love. So, I mean, but I mean, that's important to be in love with someone. But it's also, you know, the the other things that you need, the, the commitment. You know, what, but yeah, but it's like, yeah, we we're, I, I didn't stop loving you because it's not like, oh, God, I hate you. You did this to me. It's just like I knew that I wasn't giving you the the 100 percent that you needed so and she like, knew yeah. that also yeah. but she wasn't expecting it when you got back together again or well i think she was probably like she probably was you know like oh yeah, like oh did you become a better person yeah i think you are or i should say a better now. person yeah, because you know she wasn't trying to make me a better person but like are you ready to be more like are you in this to, to show like, me more of who you well are to take this uh, her our our commitment because we're, we're not trying to have kids or anything but yeah like let's build a life you and i together like mm -hmm. we can do we i can do this comedy thing you can be a part of it or you know be a part of my life like it, it everything doesn't have to be separate i mean I, you know the, i mean sacrifices must be made mm -hmm. but yes let's i am ready to be to be married to to tell you everything and not be a, a weirdo walled off psycho in my studio apartment <laughs> not doing anything when i except for writing jokes and just getting on stage there's more to life a little more there's more to life than that you know what i mean they're just like trying to tell jokes so it's like yeah let's let's walk dogs and let's let's get express espresso in the morning right? nice. <laughs> but i mean the things that I, and that just progressed organically from yeah. there once you established kind of okay this is a thing that we should try to how did it go from there to marriage or then, no, i was like yeah this is nice but then it's it, you know you're also I, I don't know. Um, I, I think people calculate that differently. I don't know. Do you have a, like what's past? I, I, I don't. I don't count all the past time because you know the past relationship time rolled into like what your current time is. Like, is okay. there a, a good meter for that? Like, you know, like tell I, me about the calculation. 
Well, like, it gets real complicated. We might need that dry erase board. <laughs> no, well, it's like, well, we spent... Oh, gosh. And again, I'm sorry. I'm off on the time if she, when she watches this. The, the year and a half we spent together, but all of it wasn't good. You know what I mean? So it's like that all doesn't count. Plus, you're a different person. So I would say, like, coming out of that is like six months. Because, you know, it's like we did the... the I mean, just on a funny note, I mean, as we got back together, it's like, oh, well, we should get a new anniversary. Like, what's our anniversary? We can't use the old anniversary. Okay. And I'm like, well, I picked 9-11 because it's like, never forget. <laughs> so I figured we'll always remember 9-11. But now it's different now that we're married. So, I mean, that was a short-lived thing. Okay. But yeah, I decided, I was like... And she was on board with that because right. she understood you and was, had those similar dark <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny, yeah. guys. Except for people who died in there. Um, <laughs> this will be edited out. Um, no, but, well, I... My, uh, so, oh, my point is that, like, you know, I knew that she she did like, she's um, a little bit younger than me, but not not much. You know, not I don't I don't have to say like Google it like twice a day now. You know, and she saw the Star Wars, so it's not like it's not a crazy age gap. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I knew she wanted to get married because that's just because it's like you know that commitment. So I was like, you know, let's first of all, um, the, I mean, it was going like the new dating was going really well because it's like obviously we had that base. I know you. I know not what to you know not how to upset you mm-hmm. <laughs> I, and plus we're grown so it's like i, I feel it is a little um you know speed it up then you know your second time around mm-hmm. because it's like oh yeah and, you know and obviously you I, already had an established intimacy yeah. that you could reconnect with but you didn't have a time frame right but it's like and i feel like guys and you know and now I, ooh, I, I hit 40 and it's like well you know it's like uh the inverse is like you don't want to be the 45, uh, you know, like a uh, 50-year-old guy in a studio apartment because that's just crazy, <laughs> especially if you're not a professional. So it's just like, oh, well, you know, it's like, yeah, let's, um, I'm totally into uh, getting married. Unfortunately, a lot of people said, oh, you're marrying Jason? Good luck with that. So that's a little more. <laughs> people had their opinions. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I under- totally understandable, though. She knows what she's getting. If she knew and did anybody... Getting. Give that to you while we were marrying Lindsay. No, no, no. No. Okay. Everyone's like, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. okay. I brought that upon myself, though, so that's fine. I okay. understand the, the the mentality I got going. But no, I, I realized, and I, I mean, that is like, like um, and, and again, that's another serious thing, though, is like taking that. Uh, we got married in a, um, just in my child at home. Like, you know, because we're, we're, we're practical people. We're not going to spend $10,000 on a. Mm-hmm. So the thing. importance of getting married was was important for yeah. the commitment and for that stage where you were in the relationship, but the the pageantry of it was not as important to either one of you. Right. Enough. Which is another reason why we're together. Because if I was marrying some girl, it was like, I need a ten thousand dollar wedding. I'd be like, no. Because that's <laughs> well, it is to me just a waste of money. I mean, I know it's a very important day, but it's like ten thousand. You can put that towards a house or yeah. a camera. But the very important day wouldn't be. The pageantry, it would be. Yeah, the it's the because the like that is very heavy. Like I mean, I don't cry a lot, but I mean, I could have cried because it's like I mean, again, I was I was in my child at home from my mom and like fifteen, her mom, uh, and ten of our closest friends. So I mean, you know, if you made the cut, and the rest of you are you know losers because you make the cut. <laughs> but I mean, it was but it was like even then you're 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 taking an oath, and I I mean I again my internal code that I got from my father, I take that very seriously. So it's like. Mm-hmm. I am going to protect you. I'm going to love you. And, you know, it's easy to get, you know, and it's just like, oh, I, I think I have grown. But it's like, you know, I mean, to, to say that in front of other, you know, to say it out loud, is it's like a, it's like a heavy thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's a witnessing. It's a- yeah. And it's just like, you know, I do, I do take it seriously. So, and it, um, and I, I it's just, and I guess the question would be like, what's, what questions are we trying to solve here today? <laughs> uh, well, eventually we'll get to what you learn in this oh. relationship, but right now I want to get to the to the progre- the timeline of progression of the marriage to where you are now. So in that marriage, that was did you feel a different level of intimacy? Did that commitment uh, well, something you already had, or did something shift after? Oh well, after the, the wedding, wedding is the wedding? oh for sure. No, I mean the, the the wedding did cement because like I said, after I took that oath, it's like oh this is it is like another another level. Stuff, next level because it's just like oh I've never you know never uh, did that in front of you know I never uh, said I love someone in front of my mom you know I brought girls home and stuff but you know it's not like oh, I, I love you for the rest of my, like 
Mm-hmm. If, even if you're in a wheelchair, I mean, I can't still love you. Just, so it was a no matter what, what and a public yeah. uh, uh, crying of yes, yes, I mean, we are and it, you are yeah. you're the girl for me for the the rest of my life, and I and I take that seriously. I mean, you know, these they say the wedding ring makes women um, hit on you more, and that's true. So many, and I was like, no. You know the funny thing is about rings. I just, but it's like I never looked at. I mean, did you ever look at people's rings to like if you uh, if you were interested into talking? And I did not look at rings until after I was divorced. Oh, and okay. then I noticed. Then people looked at me with it, and then I went, "Oh, I guess I should pay attention to this as well." Oh, so, yeah, right? because it's just like I, I mean I, I don't know because I never looked at women's hands because I just feel like women are so good at like because guys are disgusting. But I don't. I can't speak to that. But I mean, like, if I if I go up to a woman I'm saying, and I start talking to her, and she, you know, she thinks that I'm flirting with her, and you know, she's like, "No, you're disgusting." She would just be, like, "Oh, you know, like this watch is not the same that my boyfriend has, or whatever." Like, I, she would just tell me right away. Like, she would never it's indulge. Like, very, yeah, very I don't need message. to look at her ring. And it's just like I don't know about guy. Like, I guess if women did go up to a guy, like we're so disgusting, we'd probably still like some guys, not, not me. But like some guys would be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. So you, you've, uh, how long do you talk about your divorce? Are you still painful? Uh, I'm not still painful. So, <laughs> but, uh, but I was and, uh, and uh, I moved on. And, uh, no, but I mean, even, uh, again, obviously your marriage was broken, right? Because you wouldn't get divorced. It, it broke. It yes. broke. But I mean, and I, a lot of my, fr- I'm at the age, you know, a lot of my friends got married young, like way younger mm-hmm. than they should have probably, like in their 20s. And now they're already divorced. And even though they, the divorce is good, like it's still great. It's just like a painful, like I know they don't want to say it's a failure because it's like, oh, I've married for seven years, that's good. But it, it just, it's someone's legally saying, I don't want to be around. I'm going through all this paperwork to say, I don't want to be around you anymore. Mm-hmm. Like it, it messes with your head. Yeah. Then I think we grow differently. And like when you came back together, after a breakup, you were like, I guess we've grown so that we can be more together. Right. And during a marriage, there is uh, the potential to grow differently enough to be like, no, we should not be th- uh, together. We should sign papers and we should right. have separate and lives. Never. Because we didn't know who we were 10, 5, 10, 15 years in the future. Right. We knew who we were at the time, but you become a different person with the same qualities if that makes sense like yeah. like those change and develop and they may develop into someone completely different than you were when you first met and you may not like that person <laughs> so yeah i mean you, yeah you would never get back together with your no I i'm in a, i'm happily in a relationship in that way but uh but i learned a lot from about myself and from that relationship from being in there which is part of learning from relationships also right. it's both my work and my personal life is I've learned a lot that I feel like uh, I still need to keep learning and that other people learn too that I have a different context of because I'm like, I learned how it was supposed to go from the books <laughs> and I've learned how it was supposed to go and how it wasn't supposed to go. So so right. healthy relationships are, when you say, I don't know, a lot of work, it's a lot of emotional work right. on yourselves and on are you the person who I think you are? and are you doing the emotional work? Because we go on different paces. Right. And if one per- and my belief is, and part of in relationships also, is if both people are willing to keep doing the work, you can make any relationship work and you can make any marriage work. But if one of the people's like, I did enough work, you need to do all the work now, then that's when it separates out more. Right. Because we all need to continue to do work. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, the, I, I do find in most relationships, it's it's... Why I shouldn't say it. well. I mean, right now, me and me and Lindsay are on the same page, but a lot of times, and it's okay. But you're not quite on the same, or even if you're on the same page, a different paragraph, mm-hmm. which is okay because we're human beings. It's hard mm-hmm. to sync. But I mean, I found that like in my parents, which, and, and part of the reason uh, I should also preface this. I mean, part of the reason like people are like shocked that I got married, uh, that know me and my not strangers. But, like, I, I just, I, I never wanted to get married because, unfortunately, it's a little tropey, I know, but my parents had, uh, uh, they shouldn't have been married. They stayed married because mm-hmm. they're just one of these people. My dad wasn't about to lose his house that he put a lot into, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So he was just like, it, I was just like, this is not a good example of, sorry, this is not a good example of love. <laughs> and I, I because of practice. Right, but it's just like, I, I can't, you know, when you have such horrible role models at love, no offense to my mom, she tried her best. 
but it's like I, I this is not this is not it so I, I mean you know you look to TV or whatever and I, I just I, I didn't know what it was so it's like I, I know this isn't it mm-hmm. right. <laughs> like you guys are like and at, at times you know most of the time I, again my dad you know he was a war veteran he just needed therapy not his fault he just didn't get it because I don't know his generation didn't believe in therapy <laughs> broken broken drywall so um, and a lot of yelling but um you know, they just weren't on. The, they were never on the same page. But they they should have been divorced. And then mm-hmm. I could have had. I just never had happy role models. You know, it's like I thought my parents could have been superheroes because they were the same person because they were never in the same room at the same mm-hmm. time yep. for a lot of my youth. And I was just like, what is this? This is yep. not good. So I'm like, you know, and part of and then you know whatever, my genetics and you know it's like uh, I I just I can't I I, I never want to live like that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, maybe I should just never get married. And obviously that's stupid. <laughs> Because it's like, yeah, you can find love, but yeah, it, it, that's well, like you figured out a different right, option, right? But I, I mean, I guess that's you know, humans do overcorrect. But I mean, that's like when you have an uncle, uh, alcoholic uncle, and you're like, I'm never gonna take one drink. Oh, okay, guys, you can learn how to drink responsibly, and that's mm-hmm. like I finally got this out of my head, and then I, I think, but it took a really long time. I think it was still in the middle of this breakup when I, again, being. Looking inwards, I was like, let me do personal like a personal inventory type of thing. That's yeah. um, nine step eight or whatever the steps are. That's what, but, yeah, sure. But, I, I skip steps. But, but yeah, you know, like, oh, this is, I mean, I, the ironic thing is, like, I, I didn't get married or stay into, like, a lot of long-term relationships because I didn't want to be like my dad. Because I'm like, there's this closed-off psycho who just yells and yells and pounds on the wall and is not nice to people and, and then for yeah but then i was literally almost doing the same thing because i'm like nice. i'm closed i'm closed off for a different reason but i'm closed off because i i, I don't want to share my my light or you know whatever i have to offer which is some stuff but yeah but it's like i'm i'm being closed off too and you know it, it can turn you into a psycho well, you know like a psycho Right. You know, what? you re- you repeat something. Yeah, you like I was so afraid of being spots. like in a horrible relationship that I wasn't. Ever, I was in a horrible relationship with myself because it's like ah, you're you're, and I'm robbing myself of joy just because of of, of bad examples. So I, I like, and um, I mean, I did talk. To, I did go to some therapy uh, during the breakup. Only not because of the breakup, but because you know, it's like it's. I recommend it for anybody. It's always good to talk to, like, have someone that just actively listens to you. Like, no, it's kind of... Yeah. Or, you know, that's what, like, I mean, some people treat comedy like therapy. Don't do that. Really no. There's comics. But, um... But you having know. friends to bounce things off. Yeah. Of, but then having uh, therapy is somebody who has no particular biases except to support you. And isn't like, well, this is what I would do. This is what you should do. Also, so there's a there's a value to both, I believe. That yeah. Well, you should... De- yeah. Oh, definitely have friends. <laughs> <laughs> who want to listen to you but uh, but yeah but uh, uh, this breakthrough like I mean I don't want to call it breakthrough but you know in therapy he did you know it's just like that's you know like that's not that's not the correct you're, you're hurting yourself and yeah sure there's probably some women that are very thankful that you're not out there trying to be in a relationship with them but you're just you're hurting you do have everyone for the most part uh, 99% of you know you have Something to share offer, yeah. yeah and to, you, there's someone there's so many lonely people out there and it's like yeah, you can't, so many people my age had a horrible, or any age, not, parents, uh, people are such a trash bag. So, I mean, yeah, we all had a horrible childhood. I don't know what your childhood, what was your childhood? Like? I mean, was your dad a little distant? Uh, he was uh, always there, but not emotionally. He was kind yeah, of, he's you know, what his other yeah, stuff was. That was, that was just, the tradition. Like, uh, he just, because of this thing in America that we, you know, whatever, undefined masculinity. What does it mean to be a man? I don't know. Who cares? Mm-hmm. Just be a good person. Yes. <laughs> doesn't matter. And, and that is less defined now. And in Ooh, marriage, yeah, less defined. Sorry, yeah, it's not and defined. Just part of when you say there wasn't a model, there, the, there were practical reasons to get married. Uh, originally, it was to get somebody off the farm or to... Or to yeah. have some more kids to work for you. Yeah, there was a reason. Kind of yeah, they too. needed it. But now we could do it because we want it. So you should yes. want it. So that's why yes. you get married to the person you want to get married to. And yeah, and and obviously I did as a man, and a, whatever, trying to, a, a lost person. I guess it doesn't even matter what I am. I, he just like, he, he did, you know, when you say something out loud and it sounds, it's so stupid, it sounds less stupid in your head. Like, a, you know, a joke that you think sounds good in your head and you say it out loud. Same thing with like, Oh, well, you know, my parents never got along. So like, how stupid is that sound? You're stupid. 
Like, well, yeah, for, that's one. You're like, know it, yeah, but it's, but it's, it's like, oh my god, embrace this is, it and live it and be like, this is. I mean, it was me. it was almost a classic, like, yeah, a fear of like, or really because you know this is like a fear of commitment is because you know it's good and you're scared. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was scared, but it's like because I, I didn't want to end up like. But it's like, well, you won't end up like your parents because. A, you're aware of it, and B, you're a different person, and C, you're working on your, you know, yeah. it's like you're you're not a psycho like your dad. Yeah, I mean, you know your blind to, spots. You yeah, to work on it. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm ready. For, I had, you know, it's like, you know, it's like when you had all the money ready and you wanted to go buy that new car, and then you waited too long, and then someone bought it. I don't know. It's a bad example. <laughs> so I'm not comparing my life to a car, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. just like, oh man, that's why. Like but I was just right for you. Such a better person. Like so, we started dating. To, I'm sorry, I'm trying to loop back. You know, so we started dating. I'm like, yeah, this is great. Let's take it to like the next step. I'm not. I mean, still frightened. It's okay to be frightened, but you have the courage to be like, but we're going through this together. Like I don't like our marriage might not last. I mean, you know, things do. It might not. I'm just, right. you know what I mean. I will probably. But I mean, it might not. But that's okay. Because Don't, because you. That's how things. I mean, think that's how things fold out. But you have the emotional tools in your tool to to get through it. Like, yeah, you'll be crushed. Like, if I got divorced, I would be crushed. I think both of you would be crushed, right? Or you know. But it's like, oh, I will get through this emotionally because it's like, I I'm I'm I'm, I'm an okay person. And it, it's pro- you know what I mean. I tried my best, and what are, like there's there are things that are out of your control. Right. You have to yeah. accept that as a as a rational person. Yeah. So it's like you and and as part of life is moving on. You don't want to get so I, I will continue to live life. And then you know I already lost you once, which was bad. But it's like you know. But uh, but um the important thing is I think is to take that step. So it's like yeah I I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And that's one of the things we learned from it. Was yeah. The important things to take that step and go through that fear. And go. Do I really want this? Yes, I do. Yeah, I want it more than I don't want. It. The, more than I don't want it. And that's okay. it, like for the anything that you want in your life. Yeah, sure. There's like ten percent. Like, or some people say, "Oh, love at first sight." Or like, "What?" Shut up. Well, I mean, that's for you, or if that's what you want to tell yourself. Well, that, well, that's the the exactly the same right. moment of like, oh. It's there in that, but then that changes after first sight. <laughs> right. But I was just, like, even if you have 10% of like doubt, but I, I think that's the anxiety, like as an anxiety ridden person, you have to like, because, you know, I guess there are people out there that actually don't have anxiety. I don't know what that's like. I don't want to meet these people. Though. Well, well, they're nervous, but <laughs> oh, not yeah. anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. These people that go into a party and be like, Hey, good to see you. Hey, Tony. I don't know why they're in the mob. That's how <laughs> confident people are. But I mean, yeah, I mean, you people that say, oh, there's no doubt when I got married. Like, like it's okay. I feel like, and I've talked to other people. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay to have the 10% doubt. Everybody. Yeah. Only because it's just, I mean, it, it could be false, you know, like false memories, but that's okay. Right. Well, but then I mean, you can't know what the future's going to be. So right. There's going to be doubt, and I don't know what's going to happen next. I still, yeah, even if I have a great joke, I still have a little, like, in my life, is always filled a little bit of doubt, which is okay. Mm hmm. Right. But it, as well, long as it's not the I majority. think that doubt drives us to be able to go, all right, let me try to make this better, figure out how to get this clearer, and, and go from there. And that's what, what might be where some of the joy comes from, too. So, so do, you sure. feel, do you feel like you've gotten some of the joy that you were hoping yeah. for? In, in oh, for sure. No, it's great. Most of the time, being, uh, being open with someone... Uh, being open with the person that you love, that you want to be open with, and 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 sharing uh, your most inner thoughts is really great. Like you thought, you like you know, as a like, uh, yeah. I mean, even like your little dark ones, and, and it, either you know, like Lindsay would just be like laugh, which is probably a good way to go, or just say that's oh not that one. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, intimate intimacy is like I said, it's in our DNA. Like when we were chimps or whatever we were, we create mm-hmm. like. And all you need is with one person. Well, I mean, some people might need more than one, but baseline, if you just have it with one, that's what we're here for. Yeah, well, at least. But yeah, I mean, that's what we're here on Earth. Like, what are you going to do? Again, eating ramen on your futon in your studio apartment is good, but you can't do it your whole life. Not when you're 50. It's not, that's not good. So is there anything else you feel like you learned that would be helpful for you or helpful for other people to relate to as well? Well, I, um, well, I learned it is. I mean, you probably shouldn't live as much as your life on the interior as I do. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but I've learned to deal with that. But it's not for everybody. But yeah, it, it is good to take um, uh, stock in yourself and realize. Uh, I, I realized, though, I think I, I mean, so low self esteem is really that's the gateway to drug to everything bad. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you have low self esteem for whatever reason, you know, um, like I did, I don't know my childhood but no it is a gateway because when you have low self-esteem it's easy like i said human we oversteer so like from low self-esteem i could see where donald trump say ironically turned into a narcissist because you're like no because it feels awful to have low self-esteem mm-hmm. so you want to just get rid of that feeling however you can so some people turn into wild narcissists like no i am the best and then you keep telling yourself that every day you start to believe but i mean you turn into a crazy person but um you know, that's why, and, and not work on yourself, and not work on yourself. Like, But, you know, it, it is, it's okay to um, work on yourself. You just, like, work on yourself daily and realize that you do, it's okay to be, um, I mean, I, I did have, like I said, that lone wolf, like, I don't need to uh, atone to anybody, answer to anybody. But no, like, if you're wrong, you know, apologize. That's important, especially, and, you know, don't, you um in a marriage, it is, you can say the wrong, like, you know, there is a line. <laughs> like, I mean, you could have great intimacy with somebody, but there's a lot, you know, like, you can't say some crazy stuff to somebody. Like, you got to be careful. But that's the humility. Is to be well, like, yeah. Well, uh, okay, I'm like crossing that line. Right. I apologize it, but you get me, and you're not that person. You made the mistake. And that's the part about right. understanding ourselves enough and understanding our partner to be like, is that really you, or are you being, or are you? You right, all right, heat of the moment, or, you know, it's context, kind of like with jokes and, and, and yeah. what people are saying. But, it, it, you know, it, it's it's good to um, say things out, like I said, say things out loud. And like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is stupid. And really just let, you know, I guess it is it is already tropey. But, yeah, don't let the past define you. You know, or if you've had bad relationships, or even if you've had a bad relationship with the person you're still, or bad times with the person you're still in a relationship with, and you still want to be in there, you know, you can put that as, I mean, you got to work on it, but you can put that aside and, and, and don't and scrap something. Yeah. yeah. And, and just remember that, like, I mean, I guess we do try to, uh, or even just in general, when you're, you know, just remember everyone was a child that didn't know anything at one point in their life. And it's just, <clears throat> I said, I, I, um, you know, it's just, I came from a, like a, a, a role model where you know it, it's just you know you don't uh, you don't look inward a lot it's just like you do what i say or bad things will happen you know but it's like that's that's not the way like it's okay you can you can think in a little bit and and, and take a moment you don't always have to and you know it's it's okay to doubt yourself like that's it used to be this you know i i hate to we should wrap this up though don't you have to go i'm sorry yeah just I, um, whatever fun well, you know, like, I, I did get into this thing of manliness, and it's like, we don't, and everything has to be defined. Like, what's a woman? Like, just find someone you like. Who, who cares? What's a woman? What's a man? But it's like, you know, there, there's this Adam Sandler movie, who's our greatest actor, and if he can't portray manliness, I don't know if you ever saw it, like, Mary and Chuck and Larry, where they were oh, two yes. firefighters. Yes. And uh, Adam Sandler was supposed to be the manly one, and his idea of being a man was doing a, a poor impression of Burt Reynolds, just chewing gum and like hitting on uh, women everywhere. He went. Like that's mm-hmm. like is that what a man? No, that's not that's not what a man is. You know what I mean? Like, and and being angry, you know what I mean? Or being tough. Just you, you don't even like. You, so what would you say a man is? In, in your I try to define like I, I, you just do what I, I don't even say the word man anymore. Because okay. not even because of time, it's just because it's stupid. It's just because uh, a woman can do the basically say, yeah. I mean, my wife does have weaker arms, but <laughs> I mean, just do as you say you're going to do. Do if you say you're going to do something, do it. So someone with integrity, is yeah, what makes you a human. Yeah, but be a good person. Be. Yeah, and obviously, if you know, and stand up for others who cannot stand up for them. Maybe that's the man part. But yeah, uh, growing like I don't like bullies. But sometimes I did turn it almost, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's moderation. Cause I almost, when you hate bullying and you try to anti, it, it, you can almost turn into a bully yourself and trying to bully, to bully the bullies. Yeah. It's bullies. like turning into something that you hate and right. which was always my greatest fear. And it's, but it's like, you shouldn't, you know, like just like growing up with that role model, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, that, being, and that's acknowledging those parts yourself and yeah. deciding whether you're going to live those or not. Yeah. And don't, don't do that. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you very much, Jason. Well, thank I you. I appreciate it.
This was fun. Yeah, it's a good time. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you next time. And uh, please like, say comments, and make this a conversation as well, too. So come back. We'll see you next time on Relationship Ready Talks.